Hello everyone, in this video you will learn about coating in food and packaging industry. These are the topics that will be discussed later on by each slide. Topic 1. Introduction. Topic 2. Type of coating. Barrier coating for food paper packaging. Topic 3. Coating properties requirement. Topic 4. Coating material. Topic 5. Coating technique. Topic 6. Inspection and Standard of Coating Plastics, paper, and other packaging materials help maintain sterility and shelf life in the food supply chain. However, there is a risk of chemical transfer from packaging to food, which is why FDA regulates food contact materials. Understanding the law is crucial to producing effective, safe, and legal packaging. To advertise food products, packaging must be FDA compliant in one of three ways. The materials used in the packing determine the route. The first route to compliance relates to the several established food contact items that are governed by FDA rules. Parts 170-199 of the 21 CFR contain these rules. Manufacturers must register new food contact ingredients with the FDA. For higher or lower exposure materials, a food additive petition, FAP, or threshold of regulation submission, TOR, may be required. In some situations, packaging makers may be able to claim that the FFDCA does not cover the material used in packaging, thus avoiding FDA approval. The cob test is essential, as it tests the ability of the paper to resist the penetration of water and quantity of water absorbed by the surface of fiberboard. If fiberboard absorbs too much water, the box may have difficulty maintaining strength and integrity. In fact, the inner fluting can even separate from the outer linear board if too much water is absorbed, essentially causing the box to break down. Moisture vapor transmission is the transfer of water vapor from one side of a package to the other. The water vapor transmission in a specified time range is measured by the moisture vapor transmission rate, MVTR, also known as the water vapor transmission rate. MVTR is measured by ASTM E96 and ASTM F1249. ASTM E96 uses a moisture chamber to assess moisture resistance. A substrate barrier material divides the chamber vertically, one chamber is dry, the other is damp. ASTM F1249 uses infrared detectors to monitor changes in RH on the dry side of a film in a chamber similar to ASTM E96. The lower the MVTR, the better the moisture barrier properties. Oil and grease resistance in a barrier coating was traditionally measured by what is known as the kit test. This test involves applying varying mixtures of castor oil, toluene, hectane, and turpentine to a product for 15 seconds. Each mixture is scored a number on a scale of 0 to 12, from least aggressive to most aggressive. The highest numbered mixture that does not stain the surface is reported as the kit rating. Hot oils and greases are also used for testing, which better reflect how well a synthetic polymer-based barrier coating resists actual greases that food packaging typically contact. Topic 7. Coating Failure and Lifetime. 